the pits, but through to the All-Stars quarter-final. Wild thing. Next up, Tornado against three stakes to heaven, made up from parts from a grand finalist of the past. Thank you, Jonathan. Three stakes to heaven. Are you listening? You're going to hell. The stake's going to be extinct. We're going to blow you away because there's a tornado coming. That's telling them. So those guys certainly know how to talk the talk, but do you think they're really up to it? Nah, like all tornadoes, it's just a lot of hot air. <laughs> You're confident then? I'm confident. We've got the experience. We've been here three times before. And we know what we're doing. From Lords Hill in Southampton, three steps to heaven. Grand finalists in the past with Stegosaurus and semi finalists with Steg 2. They're back with a new robot, a spinning cutter, but they haven't used their full weight allowance and they could be, therefore, a pushover. Hi, I'm Peter. This is Danny. That's Richard. This is Three Stakes to Heaven and we're going to kick some robot butt. Robotiers. Engineer Danny King at the controls of Three Stegs. And there's Andrew Marchant with Tornado. And here are our two house robots. The pincer and saw of dead metal. Deadly. Even more formidable. 280 kilos. Three, two, so, it's Tornado immediately advancing at the cold front on three stakes to heaven. Driving it into the arena sidewalks. Three stakes gets away. Can get up to 16 miles an hour, which is fairly quick. Marchant, electroacoustic engineer and the controls of Tornado, steering three stakes to heaven around. Always three stakes, dragging it around there. You can see the spinning cutter on the front of three stakes. Grand finalist with Stegosaurus in Series 3, semi finalist with Steg 2 in Series 4. They'll go no further here. It's a kilolot has its way, and the crowd want the end of three stakes to heaven. It's been three tottering teetering, stumbling steps to oblivion, more like steps to heaven, and they're already beaten, they feel they're beaten, the spinning disc is spinning, but they're going nowhere, look at the great jaws there, right in behind the wheel of three steps to heaven, now Tornado can come in with a side slam, they're not yet immobilised, one wheel is spinning, but the right wheel has stopped, something's come off it I think, something's trailing, a little bit of chain I think it was, the Chain driver, one of the wheels of three stakes has gone. And the armor plating now will give very little protection. From Kilolot in there. From Dead Metal in there. And of course the arena floor flipper. Well, it couldn't toss 96 kilos too far. But the destructive damage has surely been done. And Tornado will breeze through here. The crumpling cold steel effect of Kilolot's great crushing jaws. And three stakes to heaven is spun, flicked, tries to get away. Poor old Danny King. His engineer pals are going nowhere fast, let's be honest. They're trying to limp away using the cutter to gain some sort of forward momentum. It's not going to come. And I think Andrew Marchin and the Tornado Boys have won it. Technically, it has to go to the judges, but they look comfortable enough. You see, Three Stakes wasn't ultimately immobilised, pushed around by Tornado, but Tornado couldn't finish them off. Slammed against the arena wall, they're, they're really way ahead on points. There's Three Stakes being lifted away by a killer lot. Can only be one winner, but the disturbing thing for the Tornado team, they didn't finish them off. Neither did the arena floor flipper either. It wasn't a bag of fun, though, was it, for three stakes? It wasn't a house robot, nearly the pit, or the flame pit. It was Tornado doing damage. It can only be one winner. And there it is confirmed. It is Tornado and Andrew Martin's team victorious. Through to the quarterfinals of the All-Stars. Well, three stakes to heaven went straight to hell by the look of it. How are you feeling now? Got it. You said you'd been there before, you were ready, you were confident. What went wrong? We chewed to pieces, really. Really? Big style. You came for your wheel, what happened there? Bent the axle, chain come off, completely immobilised. Got it. Got it. 
never mind team. Better than out next time. Scrap metal. From Lord's Hill, three stakes to heaven. Runs both ways up with a weapon at one end, a spinning cutter. They haven't used a full weight allowance and built the robot as lightly as they could to maximise speed and a nimble turning circle, twice successfully through the heats in previous wars. From Guildford, 11. A large stainless steel walker with hydraulic jaws, double the weight of non-walking robots. That's allowed in the rules. Very slow, just one mile an hour, and a turning circle the size of a small swimming pool. Roboteers, stand by. Three stakes to heaven. Previous grand finalists, semi-finalists, Peter Rowe, Danny King and Richard Francis. And 11. What an awkward-looking machine for James Eagling, the son of Peter. The weapons operator, James is nine. Sergeant Bash is a lot older. Grizzly, our house robot with a flamethrower. And Shunt has the axe and the scoop and the menace. Three, two, one, activate. Redbot backs away, the green light for go. And what an impressive machine this is. Wonderful engineering has gone into this hydraulic 11 machine. Stepping forward, three stakes on the attack. Trying to get it spinning, cutter, oh, to sever! A hydraulic pipe, and it has done! Hydraulic fluid! being spewed all over the arena floor. That, of course, was always likely to be its Achilles heel to be attacked by Peter Rowe and Danny King and Richard Francis and the three stakes team. And little James, there's very little he can do about this now because I don't think 11 can really move forward. Certainly, its hydraulic jaws have been negated. Ooh, they're trying to rip more cabling out from underneath 11, but what a feat of engineering. Dad Peter, what a clever chap he is. Apart from building robots, he programs generic algorithms and genetic programs. I can't even read the words. And three stegs may not be reading this situation very well either. Look, I think they're snagged on 11 on the cabling. You can hear the wheels trying to spin and gain purchase and back away, but they can't get away. They're locked together. And Eleven's legs are still moving. Oh, and a sad sack of the weapon, too. The ref bot is in, and I think the ref bot is counting them both down to a judge's decision. Cease. Stead snagged. The judges note that three stakes caused damage, but then Eleven hung on in there. Locked together, then, at the end. It's up to you, the judges. The judges have made their decision. Do you think you won? I'm not sure. You're not sure? One well, out of ten, Craig. One out of ten. I've got bad news for you. They've gone, from, they've gone for three stakes to heaven. Well, you couldn't really get to grips with it, could you? No, I'm already sliding around the place. Uh, do you find it difficult getting sort of friction on the floor there? Yeah. Yeah. Especially once the, the hydraulic hose went. Yeah. We hit the, one of the legs, I think, or something. Yeah. And then we just everywhere. Yeah. And then something just got wrapped around the disc and then we can't get out of it. Yeah. Stuck Look, it together. Never mind, you're through. Yeah. yeah. Let's hear it for the stag posse! Peter, this is Richard and Danny. This is three stakes to heaven. We've got a new spinning weapon which spins at 3,000 RPM and we're lean, mean and green. Roboteers, stand by. The ref bots had a word. Paul Snoop meant kill robots, not people. We've checked. He's OK. Three stakes to heaven, boys. Peter and Danny and Richard and there's the tetanus machine. Don't touch it, says Paul Snook and Conrad and Luke. Matilda's in the arena once again. Watch for the flywheel, 27 kilos of power. And of course, you have to watch out for the flames of Sergeant Bash. Three, two, one. 
this for a place in the heat final against Bigger Brother then. A spin of three stacks. It's the quicker machine, slightly lighter, flat, can run both ways up with the spinning cutter there, you see, against the prongs of Tetanus, driving forward, trying to catch hold. Difficult to see what damage that spinning disc of three stacks can do because you see the side brace there on Tetanus to protect its armour, if you like, and three stakes driven against the angle grinder. Sparks fly. I think the damage is superficial. The ref bot just coming in to check. Grand finalists with one of their previous machines, Stegosaurus. That's Paul Snook and his son Conrad and his nephew Luke. And Tetanus here, certainly the more aggressive machine, and three stakes, though the more experienced, looks to be worried, but there you can see damage finally done by that spinning disc. And one of the tetanus prongs came flying completely off. They're in there trying to lift three stakes out of the arena here. And it's balanced very delicately. The machine and the battle, I would say. Very delicate. This one is poised. They try to crumple down with the main prong. The weaponry of three stakes grinding away at thin air. The ref bot has a glance. The wheels of three stakes are spinning. It is not yet immobilized. They were held together, locked together. The ref bot can come in and break them up like that. Three stakes is certainly still moving. Don't want one wheel, I think. That turning circle now, of course, strictly limited. And tetanus seem to be certainly now in peril. I don't think the three Stex boys have an opponent that is mobile. Tetanus have stopped. The ref bot agrees with me. And Tetanus being counted out after a bright start. They didn't get the jab in and their needle was blunted. Three Stex got the needle and put them out. Tetanus counted down by the ref bot, which means Oh, you know the rest by now. The house robots can come in for the kill. And put them in the pit as the audience wants. Onto the flames. Pit, 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 pit. Burn, burn, burn. In comes the sergeant. Well, he can add a lick of flame and a shove into the pit. For tetanus. Can't cock a sniff at that team. They've gone out. Three stakes to heaven go through to the heat final. Well, three stakes gets a very lucky break into the next round by the skin of their teeth. Three stakes go through. You're seated eight. Um, I reckon you're going to have to do a lot better than that if you're going to go any further in this competition, oh, don't you? What happens? For sure, for sure. Well, it's a new robot this year and. We've got all sorts of new electronics in there, and it's and it's just not happening. We've lost the drive on one side, so you saw we were spinning around ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we were just lucky, really, yeah. that when we lost it, we were so close to them because they had hold of us and they, yeah. and they broke them apart. And we could get yeah. the disc up and do a bit of damage. Hey, you're fighting bigger brother next. Now he's mm -hmm. got a flip pad and a half. Yeah. yeah. Do you think you're going to do some damage there? Well, I mean, if we can get that other wheel running, then yeah, we're in for a chance. You know, cut the end of the flip off, we'll be all right, won't we? All righty, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Three stakes to heaven! Four, three, two, one, action! I'll start speaking then. <laughs> Lots of tension here at Robot Wars because Bigger Brother have an amazing flipper, which we've seen, haven't we? It's yeah. very good. But you can run both ways up. Yes, we can, yeah. So do you think that's going to be enough to save you? Not if we're outside the pit, I ain't no. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. So you're mainly worried that they're going to get you outside yes, the arena. Yes. OK, all right. From Brighton, Bigger Brother. From Lord's Hill, three stakes to heaven. Roboteers, stand by. In the arena for the heat final, from the house robots' point of view, Shunt. And there with him, 
to kill a lot once again. The original master of mechanical mayhem. Three, two, one. Activate. Whatever happens, Bigger Brother, one of the most improved robots we've ever seen. Three stakes needs to dance away from that flipper. Cause damage. Oh, oh, oh. With its spinning cutter. Oh, and on the flame pit, and they need to get away from there, otherwise. The electrics are gonna be burnt out. Just getting away. Still torch, bigger brother on the attack again. Three stacks trying to dodge the kill off. Don't go near the arena side wall. Three stacks. We see what bigger brother can do. The relentless bigger brother. In goes that shovel like front flipper again. They're getting closer and closer. Three stacks to heaven. Almost out. Bigger Brother, one tactic for little Joe and his dad Ian and Ellie as well. Obvious secret of Nick Turn jumps up and over as well. You've seen Bigger Brother before in Robot Wars. You would have never guessed this could happen. Never in a million light years. Shunt is furious. So kill a lot wants revenge on anything. Grapples with three stags. Unfortunately, you're going to bear the brunt of House Robot's Fury three stacks. Bigger Brother wisely staying out of the damage area. Redbot coming in to protect three stacks from Sir Kilowatt's wrath. Bigger Brother on the attack again. They're back on that arena side wall. They can't do anything about it, Peter and Danny and Richard. Look at Bigger Brother nippy around the arena. 12 miles an hour. Catch me if you can. Catch me if you can. No, 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 no. That's a little bit. That's a little bit too ambitious. Ian, don't try and flip kill a lot. I wouldn't. Whoa! Well, it was a novel attack route. Yes, you probably wise to get away from there. But three stakes to heaven. Well, the Redbots have taken a glance. The wheel was spinning. I think they are technically still mobile. Yes, back they come now. Three stakes to heaven into the fight. So kill a lot after Bigger Brother. You were unwise to take on Sir kill a lot. But Bigger Brother, what a irritating little machine it is. What a fascinating little machine. Turns away, spins once again. All the aggression in this heat final. Don't forget for a place in our series semi-finals later on. Has come from Bigger Brother. Three stegs again, upended. Bashes down. We know it can run both ways up. Bigger Brother. Slamming it onto the sidewall once again. Can three stegs get away now, Ellie? What do you think? Are you pointing a way out of the arena? Refbot, have a look. I think Ellie might have been saying she thinks three stakes are immobile now. And certainly the Refbot agrees with her. You're seconds away here, Ellie, from a famous victory. Three seconds to go before three stakes to heaven are counted out. And Bigger Brother have famously won this heat final. What a performance. What an improved robot. What a success story. What enjoyment they've had. So kill a lot. Fumes. Mm. Three stegs, we warned you. The house robots want revenge for the attack on Shunt. And you're gonna get it from just about every corner now. Get him down into the pit. Oh, bigger brother, gallantry. <laughs> they've all ended up in there. So kill a lot. Not the brainiest, let's be honest. Cease. Just about surviving. Did I say that? He knows where I live. Three stacks to heaven get sent straight to hell. Bigger Brother through to the Surrey semi finals. <laughs> Guys. Talk me through it, talk me through it. Uh, we lost drive to a wheel again. Yeah. That was it. Weapon went down. Yeah. They just, they're quite strong, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. It was like they were just toying with you, really, wasn't they were, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me, excuse me, I'm having a conversation over here. <laughs> OK, wait your turn. All right, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, three stakes to heaven!